Okay, it's the 7th of January and we're in the AMP 0118 or Lanya block. These are about to be picked in a few days time and we're just here to have a look at where the fruits formed. The fruits formed where we had an auxiliary cluster so that means uh, basically that you had a one-year-old shoot and the flowers formed on a bud along that one-year-old shoot. It's more common to see fruit on spur buds and also on uh, terminal bud positions and that terminal bud position is the, the final bud on a one-year-old shoot. And again, on the 7th of January, this is Deliza, or ANP0131. Um, and these trees are also in their third leaf. We've got fruit formed on two auxiliary buds on a one-year-old shoot. Uh, and then as we move up the tree, you can see the number of fruit formed on, on spurs. And we'll also be able to see some fruit formed on terminal buds. So again, Deliza is a bit of a mix of, of spur and terminal fruit. Okay, again, we're 7th of January, and this time we're looking at AMP 0534. Um, and as you can see, the fruit has formed entirely on, on spurs with this variety. You um, really don't see anything on, on terminal shoots at this stage. These trees are um, going to their third leaf. Uh, technically, some of these higher fruit are on auxiliary buds, buds that have formed along the length of a one-year-old shoot, but most of the fruit is on spurs on two-year-old wood. Here I'm demonstrating a fruiting lateral that's come off the leader. So this was a shoot. They formed a flower bud on its tip and it's produced two fruit. And of course those fruit are weighing down the fruiting lateral but as we go back along the lateral you can see that there's a really good fruit buds developing there that will form our spurs. What of course we can do here is shorten that lateral next year and we'll have good fruit, good flower formation and good fruit sitting on those buds back along the, that lateral. Mm -hmm.